guys. So let's take a look at some uniform motion problems with both distances given. Okay, so let's, again, let's review what we need. We need four equations. We need one equation that's a rate, one that's a time, and one is a distance. The fourth one could be anything based on what's given in here. Toughest part of here is to figure out those four equations out of this paragraph. So let's look at it. Ed skipped happily 24 miles to math class. That, that warms my heart. Okay, going home, he hopped twice as fast as he skipped. If he traveled nine hours total, how fast did he travel each way? What were the times? And why should I care? I think we should cross it out. That's not a very good question to ask. There. Oh, okay, sorry, wrong one. Okay, all right, there, we'll, we'll, we'll do this, okay. So, okay, so we need some equations, you tell me. Let's, let's look at, Ed skipped happily 24 miles to math class. Okay, well, let's say there's our first one, right? That the distance skipping was 24 miles, right? So he goes the same distance both ways, right? There, okay. So we have the distance skipping, we'll call that R sub S, T sub S, equals 24. And we'll say, going home, he hopped, okay? The distance hopping is also 24, all right? He hopped twice as fast as he skipped. Well, hopping was faster, so the rate of hopping is two times the rate of skipping, all right? Now we need a fourth one. He traveled nine hours total. How would you write that as an equation? You know, it's not 4.5, 4.5, it could be anything, but we can write the time of hopping plus the time of skipping equals nine. And there we go, there are four equations, okay? How fast did he travel each way? What were the times? Oh, you know, whatever, okay. All right, so let's figure it all out, okay? So we have R sub S, T sub S is 24. R sub H, T sub H is 24, okay. Well, let's take a look at this, let's figure it out. So this, let's just start um, putting stuff in here. All right, how about, you know what? If we look over here, we can go like this and go, wait a minute, this is 2R sub S. We can put that here. All right, okay. We can go 2R sub S, T sub H equals 24. You go, well, that's not very good. That doesn't help us at all. Well, okay, let's see about this. T sub H, what's T sub H? Maybe that can help us. Oh, T sub H is right over here. We can go, okay, well, if I go and find T sub H, T sub H is nine minus T sub S. In other words, nine hours minus the time it is skipping. So let's do that instead, okay? Since we've got this written like this, let's go ahead and put this right in here. Boink. All right, so we got two times the rate of skipping, and then we'll call it nine minus the time of skipping. All right, so we have two R sub S times nine, that's gonna give us 18 R sub S, minus two R sub S, T sub S equals 24. Ooh, it's like we're going around in circles here, okay? But if we notice something, look at this. Blink. R sub S times T sub S, we look up here and we go, wait a minute, that's the same thing as 24. And that's the key on these, okay? Both distances given. Some of these, when you figure out the equations, you're just gonna have to start substituting and give something a try. And try the first thing you try and look down, does anything work out the rest of it? Oh wait, I can substitute this in? If it doesn't, try something else. One of them will work, okay? R sub S, T sub S, we say is 24. Well, the heck with this, let's just erase that and go two times 24. Well, let's just do the arithmetic. Two times 24 we know is 48, so there it is. Okay, we'll mash this over there. 24 plus 48, that gives us 72. So 18 times the rate of the skipping is 72. If you wanna use a calculator, you can, which shows us the rate of the skipping is 72 divided by 18, which is four. Okay, now we've got uh, the rate of the skipping is four miles an hour. Now we can go, oh, the rate of the hopping is twice as fast as he skipped, so the rate of the hopping is eight, of course, okay?
Okay? The times, now we can figure this out, right? Okay? If we have the hopping rate is 8, we can just take that right there, right? 8 times the time of the hopping is 24, so we know that's going to be 24 divided by 8, which is 3. And if the time of the hopping is 3, then the time of the skipping, it says he went 9 hours total, so that's going to have to be 6. And there you go. Okay. And again, on these, figure out your four equations. If you're looking at something going, uh, I'm substituting, I mean, nothing's happening here. Like this one, you might go, okay, I just substituted and like nothing happened. Okay. Then look at this, look at one of these of what you get and go, can I go ahead and substitute for this one too? And we went over here, we did, wait a minute, if I move it over, I can get something, I'll try it. Eventually what happens is you will get an, an something that you will look back up and they'll, you'll go, oh, they give me that number. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. It'll always work. So, there you go. Okay, let's try another one. Grandma could run four times as fast as the reindeer could run. She ran 80 miles in two hours less than it took for the reindeer to run 28 miles. How fast could each of them run? How long did they run? Okay. And they didn't say, they said math is not practical. It's practical. We can tell right here. Okay. In Christmas time, we can figure out the song stuff and everything. Okay, here we go. All right, let's just start writing equations, right? Grandma could run four times as fast as the reindeer. Okay, so we got the rate of grandma is four times the rate of the reindeer. Okay, she ran 80 miles, which means her distance was 80. So the rate of grandma times the time of grandma was 80. She ran it in two hours less than took the rain. Oh, wait, the reindeer ran 28 miles. Let's do that one. So the distance of the reindeer is 28. Grandma ran two hours less. So grandma's time was the time of the reindeer minus two. Ha, huh, okay. And here we go. So let's just stick it in here. I mean, this is this is where it gets kind of weird, like, yeah, which all these are kind of, the equations don't look like they're all, you can't tell which one to use, so I don't know. Let's just try the first one. The rate of grandma is four times the rate of the reindeer. Well, we can stick it in here, right? Let's just try it, whatever, there it is, right? So the rate of, the, rate of grandma four times, okay, so we got this goes there, four times the rate of the reindeer, times the time of grandma equals 80. Ugh, it's horrible. It doesn't look like anything. Yeah. Well, it, that's helpful, kind of, but let's figure out this. Time of grandma, time of grand. Oh, there's something. How about that? Let's stick that in there. All right, how about four times the rate of the reindeer, the time of, the, time of grandma. Okay, we'll just put T sub R minus two equals 80. Okay, so we got four times rate of reindeer, time of the reindeer, uh, minus four times two is eight, rate, uh, rate of the reindeer equals 80, okay? And again, you might look at this and go, I I'm not getting anywhere here. What in the world's going on? But look right here, something always happens when you do this stuff. They've got it figured out to where it works. Rate of the reindeer times the time of the reindeer, you look at here, there it is. Nice. Okay. So now we have this equation. 4 times 28 minus 8 rate of the reindeer equals 80. So that's 112 equals 80. Okay. Now if you move over 112, 80 minus 112 is negative 32, and the rate of the reindeer is 4. Okay. If you find the rate of the reindeer, we know grandma can run four times as fast as the reindeer, so the rate of grandma is four times four. So there's two equations we saw. All right, now we can find out how long they ran. Of course, it's a piece of cake now. Um, the rate of the reindeer is four. They went 28 miles, so the time of the reindeer has to be 28 divided by four, so the time of the reindeer is seven. And there's your third one. Time of grandma is the time of the reindeer, seven, minus two, so the time of grandma is five. There we go. By the way, let's just check this very quickly. Grandma runs 80 miles in two hours less, so in five hours. 
Okay, so she's going 16 miles an hour for five hours, 16 times five, 80 miles. Yep. Okay, and the, uh, the time of the reindeer is seven. The rate of the reindeer is four, four times seven, 28 miles. Boom, we got it. There you go. Okay, all right. Give this a shot here. Try your practice problem, all right? Pause it and we'll come back together in a second. All right, Bernard is apparently blowing away these local domestiques, whatever those are. Okay, sounds kind of French or something. Okay. Um, Bernard raced 120 miles. Okay, fine. The distance of Bernard, rate of Bernard, time of Bernard is 120. Good. Three hours less than it took the domestique to race 105. Oh, hang on. The distance of the domestique is 105. So we got those two equations. Okay. All right. He raced 120 miles and moved up. Oh, he raced twice as fast. So look at there. The rate of Bernard is twice as fast as the rate of the domestique. The last one, he took three hours less. So the time of Bernard is the time of the domestique. Minus three. Wonder if they eat snails. Anyway, okay, so let's just start Throwing stuff in here. I don't know. What's one that we could stick in here? Oh, look, here we go. There's one. Uh, rate of Bernard, time of Bernard, time of Bernard is that. Let's just stick it in there. So rate of Bernard times, let's see, T sub D minus three equals 120. So rate of Bernard, time of the domestique. That doesn't match or something. Okay, anyway, I'll just keep going. Minus three times R sub B equals 120. Ugh. Well, that doesn't help at all. That's terrible. Well, let's try something else. How about R sub B? Can we pull that out? I should have done it right there, but it's okay if you missed it too. Okay, the rate of Bernard is 2 R sub D. So I will stick in here instead. You know, I'll just write it. 2 R sub D, T sub D, minus 3 R sub B equals 120. Oh, look at this. Yoink. R sub D, T sub D. There she goes. So 2 times 105 is 210. Minus 3 times the rate of Bernard equals 120. So negative 3 times the rate of Bernard equals 120 minus 210, negative 90. So Bernard is going 30 miles an hour. Okay. All right. Well, now we can figure it all out, right? If Bernard's going 30 miles an hour, that means he is going twice as fast as the rate of the domestique. So the domestique is going 15 miles an hour. Okay, all right, well, um, is that all we need to find out? No, we need to find out the all this stuff here. So again, let's go rate of Bernard, time of Bernard. Um, if Bernard's going 30 miles an hour. He goes 120 miles. That means his time was four because he goes 30 miles an hour for four hours. His time is four. So that means it's some number minus three, which means uh, four equals seven minus three. Excuse me. I should put seven. And there we go. And that's it. Okay. And just don't forget, you know, work out, work out the four uh, uh, equations. Just do something. Start and do something and look around and see if you can start plugging in the, oh, I'm going to substitute that, oh, I'm going to substitute that. All of a sudden, it'll just come to you. So, okay. All right. See you guys next time. Take care.